Hey everyone, welcome back. Morgan coming at you. We're in Honors Chemistry Unit 8 on gases. We're talking about page 5 of the outline. And this is another set of just practice problems. Uh, mixed up different types of problems. No real explanation about whether it's going to be Boyles or Charles. And we're kind of just going to see if you can figure those out from the information given. So in number six, it says if three gases, each at 3.00 atmospheres pressure, are mixed in the container, what is the total pressure in the container? Well, we can just add those pressures together. P total equals the pressure of gas one plus the pressure of gas two plus the pressure of gas three, which is going to equal 3.00 atm plus 3.00 atm plus 3.00 atm, which equals 9.00 atm. Okay, pretty straightforward there, example of Dalton's Law. All right, in number seven, what is the new pressure? So we're looking for a P when 17.5 liters, that's a volume of helium, at 5.23 atmospheres, that's a pressure, is compressed to 1.50 liters, that's a volume. So these two go together because of the word at, so we'll make those P1 and V1, and we're looking for P2 being given V2. So that's a Boyle's Law problem. P1 V1 equals P2 V2. I want P2, which equals P1 V1 divided by V2. It's always good to write all all your equations first before we get started. So P1 is 5.23 atmospheres. V1 is 17.5 liters. V2 is 1.50 liters. And we're seeing that liters divides out, it cancels. So 5.23 times 17.5 equals divided by 1.50 and I'm getting 61.01 I'm going to round that to 61.0 three sig figs on all of these so 61.0 atmospheres pretty high pressure okay alrighty on to number eight a balloon is filled with 62.3 liters, which is going to be a volume of gas at 100 degrees Celsius temperature. That's going to be 273 plus 100, 373.1.2 Kelvin. If I add 273.15, okay, the balloon is then cooled to 50 degrees Celsius. So that's going to be 323.2 Kelvin. Okay, that's our temperature. What is the final volume? Volume. So since I've got the word at here, I'll make this V1 and T1. And I'll make this V2 and T2. Charles' law V1 over T1 equals V2 over T2. V2 is going to equal V1 T2 over T1. Okay, so 62.3 liters times the 323.2 Kelvin divided by the 373.2 Kelvin equals, okay, so 62.3 times 323.2 equals divide by 373.2 equals 53.95 I'm looking at three sig figs so 53.95 liters that's going to round off to be approximately 54.0 liters all right Okay, now for our next one here, a container is filled 
with a gas at a pressure of, so I know that's a pressure, 125 degrees Celsius, that's a temperature, we can call that P1 and T1 because of the word at. What will the pressure be? So I'm looking for P2, if the container is heated to 450 Celsius, we're going to call that T2, okay? So that's plus 273 is 723 Kelvin. Whoo, that's hot. All right. P1 over T1, because all I've got is pressures and temperatures, equals P2 over T2. P2 is equal to P1 T2 over T1. All right, I have 4.0 atmospheres. I've got 723 Kelvin. 125 plus 273, 398. I could do the point two, but not, no need. I mean, two sig figs, I can make a difference here. 398 Kelvin. Kelvin cancels Kelvin equals all right so four times 723 equals divided by 398 i'm getting 7.266 so that is going to be rounded off to uh, two sig figs 7.3 atmospheres All right, now number 10, our last one here. 27.5 liters is a volume of helium at STP, temperature pressure, we can call those state one, because that we're at. It's cooled to 200 Kelvin, T2, 1.50 liters, V2, what's the new pressure? We'll call that P2, all right. P1, V1 over T1 equals P2, V2 over T2. P2 is going to equal P1, V1, T2, divided by T1, V2. Take the algebra nice and slow if you need to. So now, my first pressure is 1.00 atmospheres. My first volume is 27.5 liters. T2, 200 Kelvin. T1 is going to be 273 Kelvin. And then V2 is 1.50 liters. Okay. Liters is going to cancel. Kelvin's going to cancel. I'm getting something in atmospheres, which is real good for a pressure. Okay, so 1 times 27.5 is 27.5 times 200. I'm going to divide that by 273, hit equals, divide that by 1.50, hit equals. I'm getting about 13.43. So I'm good for three sig figs, so we're going to call that 13.4 atmospheres. All right. Hope you did well on those. If you have any questions, feel free to ask them. Thanks for tuning in. This is Morgan signing off.